Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Um, I'm stuck in house quarantine. Um, hopefully everyone else is doing well uh, currently with this whole coronavirus. Um, so the one good thing about being in house quarantine is I have more time for content. Um, so we're going to be playing a bunch of historic. We'll be putting up a bunch of videos onto YouTube. Um, so we put up the uh, Simic Merfolk yesterday. I have a couple older historic videos as well up on YouTube, and then we'll be playing a bunch of new decks with the new anthologies that came out. Um, so this is probably one of my favorite decks from even when it was in Standard, uh, Jeff Hoogland's uh, Yarrick Field deck. So it's basically a Yarrick, uh, the Desecrated Elemental package uh, with Field of the Deads uh, to make zombies. So it's a ramp deck that you get a bunch of duplicated triggers. So with Yarrick, any land that comes into play cuts uh, two zombies. Uh, your Risen Reefs get two triggers, Cavaliers get two triggers, Rejuvenators, uh, Uro is a new addition to the deck. So it's basically playing around that. Um, so the whole goal of the deck is to get to seven mana as quick as possible, create a bunch of zombies, and then there's one Field of the Dead, uh, sorry, Nexus of Fate, um, because you will uh, draw out your entire deck in long games. Uh, it also can be used as a combat trick to push through a bunch of damage, kind of pseudo haste uh, for your zombies. Uh, but you basically get to a point where you can just keep casting Nexus of Fate because there's not that many cards in your library. Um, the mana base, there's 31 lands. There's a bunch of different lands, um, kind of highlighting some of the utility. We have a couple Fable Passages to fill the yard for Yar, uh, for Uro, but also get multiple triggers. Uh, playing Field of Ruin over Ghost Quarter just because it gets us a land, so it's a way to get uh, tokens at instant speed. Um, and then there's the Cycle Lands. Uh, so you can throw these away to uh, draw cards that way there. So we have each of those in there, and then a Castle Vantress to scry. Um, Sideboard-wise, uh, Disfigure for Aggro, Disdainful Stroke versus uh, the Big Mana decks, uh, kind of the Mirrors, Sweepers, Agonizing Remorse to get rid of uh, basically any sign combo decks. Um, it exiles as well, which is nice. Cast down for aggro, Assassin's Trophy, wide range of utility. Ego versus the combo decks, so like Underworld Breach, um, Kethis combo, anything like that. And then um, Maelstrom Pulse, uh, good catch-all removal, uh, works well in the mirror. Also, there's the new enchantment that they, re they printed uh, that makes all tokens get minus 2-2. Um, that's not something we want in our field deck, so we have a Trophy and a Maelstrom Pulse to deal with that. Uh, so Historic Ranked, play that. Um, I think I'm 4-0 with this deck. It's been very powerful, taking down a variety of decks. Uh, one thing with Maelstrom Pulse to remember, if you target their zombies, they have the same name, so it wipes out your zombies as well. So this version is more grindy. Um than the traditional uh, decks. Uh, so you can survive after like the scape shift turn. Um, you can get more incidental value over time. Uh, just put the cemetery down. So this is basically turn two, four mana pretty much. Okay, so we're playing a field mirror. So this has a higher chance of hitting a land than Uro. Uh, I think I think we want to I'm gonna play this because it gives us a higher chance. So okay, so opponent just concedes. Um, so in this matchup, you want the unmoored egos for their um, sorry for their uh, field of the deads. Assassin's trophy can also get one off if it's already in the graveyard. Um, so Disfigures can come out, they're not really that good. Murderous Riders can come out. We don't really want to one for one our opponent. And I'm probably gonna cut probably a Yark in this matchup. Mind you, it's probably grindier. Blast Zone's fine, Fable mm -hmm. Passage, Field. We can cut, what do we cut? Ah, cut a Yark, at least on the play. This deck also gets people to like rage quit pretty easy. So we wanna get to their field, usually in these matchups as well, we don't know what variation of field. This 
And although we got two woodland cemeteries, it's still a keep. We can get Grazer going. Actually, oh, it comes into play tapped. I was going to say we could have Grazered and they got three lines on one turn. So this is Bant, it looks like. Hey, Quandum. Yeah, it's been really good thus far. So I'm going to go Rejuvenator here. Uh, probably just get the Thorn Water because this always comes. Uh, this is actually the first field deck I've played. As funny as it sounds, I've been playing a lot of breach combos, like a lot of Mox, uh, Amber, self mill decks. So Fable Passage is pretty good as well. It gives us another land to play. Um, I'm gonna go Lonely Sandbar. Oh, didn't mean to attack with Grazer, but that's fine. So any land now, other than like one of the ones we have, would work. And the note, like if this was anything other than Woodland Cemetery, we would have already been online. Arrow would be nice. Yeah, there's a lot of um, Underworld Breach decks I was playing last night, and um, there's actually one, a Jeskai one that was really cool, so it was Underworld Breach uh, main board, and then it was transformative sideboard to like a Karn, uh, four mana Karn deck, the, uh, not the Great Creator, the other Karn, Scion of Urza, and then you just made big Karn structs. So I'm probably going to hold off uh, cracking this until we can get zombies off it. Opponents taking their time. So like Cavalier would be good. Like Risen Reef. Come on, opponent. Yeah, we'll play that one on stream too. Uh, I need to probably watch or play against it one or two more times just to get a feel or play it like in non-ranked it's uh it's a convoluted combo the game one they they got me on turn four uh, and they comboed off but i won the post board games with unmored ego which helped i don't know why the opponent was running clock so when we said any land except one we had, uh, I'm going to hold this because we could get uh, zombies afterwards. Yeah, it was um, when you have Emery and Mox Amber, it helps speed it up. They also are playing uh, Mindstone, so it got them a little bit more mana ahead of Clock. Those combo decks probably have a good matchup against Field, because like Field, like we kind of ignore the board the first couple turns, so they're just doing their thing, and then they can combo off. But post board, like I bring in more interaction, and then. We are fortunate, like, so I unmoored Ego their breaches, but they were still trying to win through just self mill. But then I had agonizing remorse to get rid of their um, Thassa's Oracle. They usually only play one. Okay, Rejuvenator is a nice draw there. Opponent passed through their turn. I think they might be having connection issues. Probably give Arena reset if this is the case. If you use like three more minutes a clock and we're on game two already. I 
I might switch the Castle Vantress for um, the Black Castle. I think the card draw is better than the Scrying. So we'll take that win. We're likely going to get going anyways. Plat tier two. Just going to give just in case it's us as well with the fun times of disconnects. Got like check ins for all the family and friends, just seeing how everyone's doing with uh, Corona. Hopefully, everyone's doing all right. Um, if there is any suggestions for historic decks you'd like to see, uh, I got the anthology, so we'll be putting together a bunch of decks. Uh, next up will be a green white uh, Knight of Reliquary Ghost Quarter uh, kind of Death and Taxes style deck. Uh, try to Ghost Quarter lock our opponents so they can't um, play magic, which is. A different type of prison. We'll play first. Uh, this hand's not really doing much. Doesn't have ramp. We'll keep this hand. It's much better. Uh, put the murderous rider back. So we'll go thorn waters here. So if we had it untapped, we could turn to risen reef. I thought we put you back. Play out all the guild gates. Yeah, they take our risen race. That's a great draw. So I could start pressuring them with this, but I think the like Esper is a really good matchup for us. Fortunately, we don't have the other green there. Um, so before I went on vacation, uh, my work mandated two weeks work from home. So last week and this week. Um, I'm now probably, because I went to Dominican, going to be stuck under quarantine for another week. Um, they're restricting, so NBA, like no large gatherings. They canceled a bunch of concerts, events stuff like that, uh, all our like go trains, like so like our mass commuter trains and the, whatchamacallit, so I'm gonna play this out, just drawing this, like our transits, reduced schedule, stuff like that, uh, malls have closed quite a bit, so it's getting there, but we do have free healthcare, um, tests are pseudo limited, um, they're going to test you if need be. There's like drive throughs but we'll see. Uh, that's not bad. Um, I'm going to just jam Cavalier here. Yeah, most schools have done online only for classes. Um, our like uh, elementary and high schools are all... Okay, they have Sabotage. So we're any land that we don't have from getting zombies... They could counter spell, but they need to answer the board. They take the murderous rider. So if they have like five mana Tef. They can start getting some card advantage. And this is where, like against um, these other decks, it gets kind of rough. Quantum, are you in the states, or I forget where you're. You're out of. Okay, so they got five mana tough. I know my responsibility. So always take tough down. This card is very good for those of you who haven't played against it. And this is where the point of our deck, so like any card we draw off the top now is action. If we draw land, we get two zombies. If we draw a spell, most of them just cycle. An Uro would be very good here. Okay, 
Okay, so they can do this, and they can take us off a of Field of the Dead. Ooh, they got Trawler. I still think we need to take Teferi down. So this is going to be a problem. Float the mana. I don't think we have anything instant speed. Um, get another forest. So Cavalier of Thorns is what we want here. Arch of Arzaka is actually pretty good. So I'm going to take Teferi down. They'll gain three life. Actually, they'll gain five life. Okay, so that's good for the following turn. They'll gain some life here, but if we can start chaining some attacks together, it'll be good. Oh yeah, the little sloth can block. So they veto here. They did go pretty counterspell heavy. Yeah, I need Grazer. Grazer can block at least, but they likely have removal. So doing this first in case we draw another field, which we do. Probably going to be too slow this game. So, well, I could technically draw a Grazer. No, I can't. So we'll do this on the end step. We have four, five, six, seven, four, 15 damage this turn. Elspeth conquers death. It's fine. So you got rid of my 1 1. Okay. Just more lands. So I can do this. I think I'm going to do this before, just in case I need this on tap line for anything. Actually, I should have Risen Reef first. Murderous Rider is actually good, because we can tap it down for a turn. Okay, they absorb. They might choose to let us shuffle, but then that gets us more zombies. Because that's... It's 18. Mm. 
Yeah, gr uh, we'll probably play some Grixis. Are you playing Fires or just uh, regular? Let's just activate this now, see what we get. So I can try, oh no, I'm short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because of uh, Conquer's death. They most likely have a counter, so I'm probably dead here. The incidental life gain. I've also had a ton of counters. So I gotta do this now, because they're gonna play Teferi. They got us. Close but no cigar there. Um, so in this matchup, I think we just want... So I'll probably bring in pulses, trophies, remorse. Um, I sometimes like ego, but... So disfigure's bad. Get rid of Field of Ruin in this matchup. And then Yarrick cut down a couple. Probably Grazer. No, I might just cut Yarrick altogether here. They have a lot of counter spells. I'm going to bring in the Egos, just try to strip them of win conditions. Um, I don't like Stroke against Teferi decks. Like, it's a bad draw if we get it. Um, this is like, it's not really, everything else has under the battlefield value. So this oftentimes will just get bounced. Really don't want to lose to Esper. Just like one of our best matchups. This version de playing Dream Trawler, though, it does help with the matchup. Even just with the fact they're playing more counters. Play first. Keep this hand. Um, because they can have Ego, you want to prioritize getting your Field of the Deads on the battlefield. Uh, Quantum, if you can, uh, whisper me on Twitch your um, your Grexus list. Um, I'm going to play the Woodland Cemetery, and then I'm going to cycle this on end step. The reason we're doing this is that it lets us uh, fill the graveyard more for Ura. Okay, they have search. Another field's pretty good. Already have a breeding pool. I think we want to just try to fill the yard, but I'm kind of two lands away regardless. Let's just get a second field field down. Really need like a rejuvenator or something. Okay, so they bin this. Another fable passage is pretty good. Would have preferred it when we were online. Yeah, no worries, whenever you get a chance. I'm going to be playing uh, Green White, Knight of the Reliquary. Um, I'm going to hold off on cracking. Jeez, just trying all the fields. So 
So we have here one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So any non land, or sorry, any land that's not of these colors. Or not of these, not of these same names. Okay, so Risen Reef's not bad. They likely counter it though. That's fine. In a way, this does fill. They've been to Fairy. So even if they play five mana Tef here, we are weak if they just untap with Dream Trawler here. That's fine. This isn't a fight you can win. That didn't I've got you. Well, there goes Murderous. Actually, we should get we can get Oro down this turn. Ooh, agonizing remorse. Yes, please. Uh, big to fairy, big to fairy wins them the game. They're gonna bounce our Aura Uro. So I need another, let's get green here. I'm gonna shock this in. Again, holding this to get zombies. They're gonna bounce my thing anyways. That's very good. Because if we could get rid of the Dream Trawler, then we should be able to win. So what they're going to do is Teferi, and then they'll likely cancel this, uh, or absorb this Uro. And then I can unmarred Ego. And if they field us, it's actually good because it turns on the fields. This gets us a swamp. Got blues. I only have two blacks, so let's get a swamp. And now I'm gonna fable passage as well on the end step and get some more zombies. Let's try this. I feel like you have to play this to bounce Ura. They're not? Sorry about that. String cut out. Okay, opponent's dead here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can Just play out Ego, it gets countered. So I think we go Nexus. This forces them to have to counter this. And then that goes back into our library. I'm just gonna play out Grazer here. It's another blocker, but it also fills the graveyard if they board wipe. They transform Ascanta. Maybe we do want the field now that we saw search. They shock in. 
and they have Trawler. Yeah, well, we got a Cavalier of Thorns. So we'll go Cavalier here. Arch of Ursaka. Get some Zombos. So they're going to gain some life. But I think this is still right. So the question here is, do I get rid of Elspeth Conquer's death? Because that's really the only thing that kind of beats us at this point. Which I think we do. Because that exiles. They have two. They've shattered the sky as their board wipe. They did bring in Ego and Verluent Plague. And they have two Dream Trawlers in their list. Because Teferi shuffles, which is fine. They don't have any in their graveyard. They can Verluent Plague. It gives them some value right now, but we can always recover from that. They dig in. And the thing too is if they wipe the board, I just get Ego back and then I name Dream Trawler. Because they're on Shatter, not Time Wipe. They don't get to bounce this. Okay, they got Shatter. Getting a life. We do get to draw a card here, which is nice. And we get a murderer surrender. So that can deal with whatever planeswalker they bring back. They shock in. Just a Scanta. They have a Shatter in hand and a Discovery. Then how many Teferis? One Teferi. Oh, they only have one Teferi. Draw some cards here. Which is fill in the yard. So we can uh, get back an Uro next turn. Uh, just gain the life. Doesn't matter. And I can get Uro back a couple times now, which is nice. Because like even lands now just forces them into shatter. Ooh, they got the plague. Okay. So we do have a pulse in the graveyard and a trophy. Our zombies just die. 
agonizing remorse. Yeah, that's actually fine. Because what I can do is lonely sandbar, draw it, and then strip it out of their hand. Oh, they have two shatters. I think then we actually get rid of this. Because they can bounce our thing and force us to get rid of it. So Cavalier is good, any of the other ones are good. We have uh, Nexus of Fate, also good. Let me get the draw a card here. This will be interesting if they just name Nexus of Fate. And this is why against blue-black decks, always try to play your fields out early. Okay, they remembered the ones in the graveyard. Uh, let's go value play here. So I'm going to put this in hand because I don't want to use it right now. When we get uh, Maelstrom Pulse, mm -hmm. then we can play it out. Uh, we'll scry here though. Uh, put the line down, I'm trying to get just Gonna pass the turn here. So they're pl into having to do this, otherwise they're basically dead. But if they kill this, then I get back Maelstrom Pulse or Assassin's Trophy. So we boarded correctly. They can Teferi tuck it, but at this point doesn't do too much. Draw another land here. I think we just get pulse. Because then I could start making zombos. Gonna cycle this to hand. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bye, Felicia. And now we make all the zombies. They've used quite a few board wipes already. And we got a card draw on end step. If they play Big Teferi, we have Murderous Rider. They've used three shatters, so they have one more shatter. And they're pretty much shut off from using this. Yeah, well, you got an absorb. They did keep in some counters, and they have Sabotage. Yep, 
18 cards, 24, but we're not going to mill out. They technically can't with Teferi loops, but their life total is pretty low and they don't have board control. Okay, they drew their last shatter. And of note, they do have Absorb up. Alright, well, can you keep countering everything I have? See if we could draw a land here. That's pretty good. Here's my 5-6. That also gets a Field of the Dead. Here's 5 mana lethal. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, they played all their Shatters. I'm going to hold this just in case we're running out of Lions. We have lethal on them anyways. See if they just concede here. We are behind a bit on clock because I got disconnected. So I'd need to play a bit quicker here. I'm going to put the field back in. Oh, they got the plague. So they have two plagues, worth noting. So both our pulses and our trophies are in the grave. So I'm going to draw first in case I draw Nexus of Fate. Um... I think we just do this, crank it up to three, and then take this off, and then we got lethal. Risky, risky. Thanks, Quantum. I'll check it after uh, I've done this video. Surprised they're still because we can win the game a lot faster than they can traditionally. Keeping these in against us also seems a little loose. Because they're three minutes ahead of us and now they're getting pretty low on clock. opponent what you got you got three cards to choose from so pretty much have this I think this match is really just if we could ego their dream trawlers then we're pretty good I 
think they'd be better off playing Kaya's Wrath, though. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. See how it looks. Alright, so I guess it's opponent. Arena's been really choppy today. First opponent timed out, then we got disconnected, now this opponent's timing out. Yeah, so this is like, this is why I think Field Beam Back's fine. Like, there's a clean answer right now, and that's why we're playing Pulse and Thing in the sideboard. Okay, so they can tuck our... Cavalier here. That's fine. It might force us to shuffle as well. Let's see, I think this is wrong because this is going to get rid of the plague. So we're going to put two counters. And then I'm going to murder a Rider this. That should be all their win cons. They technically have a murderous rider. Spell the word right. Yep. Actually, I probably should have egoed their ego. But they're dead now. Because if I ego their ego, then they can't get rid of our Nexus of Fate. We only have eight cards left in library. Opponent's being kind of silly here. Like, they lost this game. They're wasting a lot of their clock. Technically, I can kill one of my things, but then I get taken off lethal. Cool. All right. I think we just play this Field of Ruin again. Just get rid of the Castle Vantress. Um, or maybe play Castle Vantress, get rid of a, an Aboreal Grazer. I guess we played 61 cards last game. Let's do it like that. A Boreal's okay, but I don't really want to draw them. Like, I want one in my opener, and then that's it. So I think we try to prioritize egoing their dream trawler. From there, we can do what we can. As well as ideally, we want to be able to get a, at least one field down early.
See if opponents changing up their board plan at all. The one thing is they will be able to get counters up earlier on us. I gotta keep this hand. Sure, me. I think Juvenator is probably the better play there. All right, so they got an early plague down. That's going to be something good in future turns. So I'm actually going to do this. It helps me dig for a field. Cavalier of Thorns is great. Magnamania, thanks. Merci beaucoup. All right, so opponent luckily is missing lands if they're doing that. They shock, so that can be veto. All right, well, veto is what they're gonna have. We still get the ETB trigger on this. Um, I'm gonna go Temple of Deceit here. And then as soon as they can tap out, I'm going to Assassin's Trophy this. We're about 40 seconds up on clock. Okay, they conquer's death. This is an interesting line. So let's Uro. F Actually, I could just Uro and then Uro back. Or, or, I could also Risen Reef. So I'm going to Trophy. So this can get that back to Fairy, but I'm not really concerned as much with Teferi. We don't have an answer to Dream Trawler anyways right now, so, and they'll, like we do get to ramp them and I have to do this now because of Conquer's death. Also quite annoying, we haven't hit a field yet and we've gone through 20 cards of our deck. Ashiok's good. Okay, they hit a Pulse. And they hit our Uro. Oh, just draw more Uros. So I'm going to play this out first. Perfect. Field is online. I think we just do this. Gets us a lot of card advantage. That's sweet, sweet. So we have an answer to one of their threats now. They can exile our Uro. Let's see what they name here. Might just be more Field of the Deads. It's 
fine. We got one out. If they have a board wipe, it's pretty good for them. Yeah, so that's probably a board wipe then. Hitting another Cavalier sucks. I'm gonna do this. This forces if they have a board wipe to use it now, which they do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Play out Cavalier, make a zombie. Uh, what do I have untapped? So I can't play out thing anyways. They know we have the Uro in hand. Yeah, well, for their deck, like it stops us from getting multiple zombies a turn. So it's a little bit more manageable. Ooh, they hit both our egos. Okay, so that's fine, because I can name Dream Trawler. That's actually very good because now I can name Trawler. Dream Trawler, not Dream Eater. Did they change anything up? Erluin. Just draw here. Perfect. Just force them to have something here. Because they can have shatter, I'm just not gonna play out more pretty limited in the amount of lands we have left, so I want to be cautious. So technically would have had lethal there, but... Cool. So got trawler game one, but managed to sneak it out. Happy overall. That takes us to plat one. Plat one. So I've yet to lose with this deck. I pop up. Something like. Come on, load. Untapped. So, this is when I started playing the Arc Field. 5 0. 5 0 with the deck so far. Did not capture the most recent. So if the game cuts out in between, it doesn't capture it. Good to know otherwise, but so really 6-0 with the deck. 
All right, so I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to brew up some more decks, be back later today with another one. Thanks, everyone, who stopped by. Uh, I'll have this up on YouTube later today, most likely, or early tomorrow, but I have Merfolk and some other ones up, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, if you have any suggestions for decks, do let me know on YouTube, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by.